Hi, my name is Louis Serlinga, and I'm the president of Followed by a Bear. I'd like to thank you all for coming to our watch party for our uh, semesterly night of scenes. Uh, you know, COVID presented a lot of challenges for us this year. Um, last semester, we had to film outside. It was a bit of a situation, but uh, we're very thankful to have been back into the perch this, this semester and to, you know, be back doing what we do. So we hope you enjoy the rest of our scenes, and thank you for coming.
Upon closer examination, you realize that the water is glowing a strange teal color. What do you do? How about... Can I drink it? What? what? Why would you drink it? Why does it matter? Uh... All right, uh... You, you cup your hands and you, you bend down and you take a sip from the river. And as soon as the liquid passes your lips, something strange happens. You start to glow, slowly at first, but building in intensity until light shoots out from your fingers, your eyes, and your hair! What? Your party has just entered the home of the Fountain of Youth! And Sean, our mighty warrior, is immortal! Long live Sean! This has been uh, Dunces and Dragons, written by Ray Davis, directed by Kira Goga, and starring Loudon Corby, Emily Lehman, Diana Rock, Fiona Purse, and Jimmy Costa. Hello? What the hell is going on? Are you ready to play the Afterlife's favorite game, Heaven or Hell? As always, I'm Azazel and this is Bub. Azazel, did you forget to talk to the contestants again? <laughs> Come on, man, it was your turn this week. Um, excuse me, where are we? What's happening? Why, why am I on a game show? Well, Azazel here was supposed to explain this to you sooner, but we're here now, so let's introduce the audience to our wonderful contestants. Everyone, this is Rebecca Sherman. Rebecca, where are you coming from today? Um, Los Angeles? Oh, plenty of sun. Now, I know you're all wondering, how did she bite the dust? Well, as it turns out, Rebecca here died in a spectacular parasailing accident. What? I'm dead? Yeah, that's kind of what I was supposed to tell you about. Hold on now. What happened to me? I don't remember dying any time more recently. Well, you both died very recently. And it takes a little bit of time for those memories to come back. As for how you died, the card we were given says chicken surprise. So whatever that means. Yeah. I know what it is. Well, now that we know our contestants a bit better, let's move on to our first round. Wait, wait, wait. Rounds? This is how it's going to be decided if we go to heaven or hell? I mean, not to brag, but I think I was a pretty good person back on Earth. Yeah, me too. I, I ran a food pantry on the side for like 15 years. And I took a bunch of trips to underprivileged community city service projects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't care about any of that. Well, Aren't we supposed to be judged based on how we lived our lives? You know, being good people? Oh, we do. It's just, you know, heaven's kind of getting full. Full? Yeah. As it turns out, a lot of people are really good. Over the years, a lot of space has filled up, so we have to be a little more selective now. Which leads us to round one. As Basil, please reach into the hat and pick out a category. And it looks like the category for round one is grocery store etiquette. You've got yeah. to be kidding me. This is insane. Nope. What's insane is this first question. Mike, imagine you're at the grocery store and you just picked up a gallon of milk. A few aisles down, you realize that you had some milk at home already and you're running late to pick up your son from soccer practice. There's also a huge thunderstorm outside. What do you do? Well, I don't want to leave my son out of those dangerous conditions, so I'd probably put the milk down nearby and get my stuff going up as quickly as possible. Wrong! Everyone knows that when you pick something up and don't need it anymore, you put it back where it belongs. Think of the grocery store workers. God damn it. Ooh, that's going to be another point deduction for using the Lord's name in vain, tisk tisk. All right, all right. Let's just get my question over with. That's the spirit. Rebecca, how many times in your life have you left a shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot instead of putting it back where it goes? A, 12, B, 31, C, 72, or D, too many times to count? Uh, 
I don't, I don't know, 12? No, it was actually 31. But don't worry, points would have been deducted no matter what since you did it more than five times. Seriously? This is, this is ridiculous. Well, it's time for round two where points are worth double. But first, if you're enjoying heaven or hell, be sure to check out the rest of the Purgatory Network's hits. Up next is Real Housewives of the Second Circle of Hell, followed by The Mentals. You guys get The Mentalist down here? It's neither good nor bad. It just is. Anyway, our next stop is air travel. <sighs> All right, Michael, let's do some word association. What's the first thing that comes to mind when I say safe landing? Clapping. Really, dude? Hey, what's wrong with that? Rebecca, have you ever stood up and gotten in line before your boarding group was called? Yeah, doesn't everyone do that? What's wrong with you people? Regardless, it's time for round three, advanced calculus. Okay, that is enough. You cannot seriously expect us to believe that our answer to an airplane landing is going to determine where we spend the rest of eternity. Yes. Okay, I agree. This is bullshit. We both obviously live good lives. It's not our fault we died too late to make it into heaven. I, I was an organ donor. Yeah, we don't have to put up with this. You know what? I'm Rebecca and this is Michael. Hello! And this is our version of Heaven or Hell. Hey, you can't do this. Shut up. And Hazel, have you ever sent someone to hell over some small insignificant things they did back on Earth? Um, yes. Interesting. Hey, Bob, how many souls had to face eternal damnation because of your little game show? I see what you're doing here. Wrong. Answer the question, please. 10,439,622. Whoa! Well, audience, I think it's pretty clear how these angels should be judged. What do you think, Michael? Straight to hell! Okay, okay. Haha, uh -huh. very funny. But, do you really think your little song and dance is gonna do anything? Hello? Uh, what's up, boss? What's everyone doing 
here. You know, just chugging along. The usual. Really, just the usual? I would say so, yeah. Okay then, well I guess I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> I like that idea. Wait, Brian, one thing, just, just one more thing, before I leave, I just want to ask, uh, what were you singing? And also, why the fuck were you singing? Oh, that. Yeah, well, um, sea shanties are actually really popular on TikTok. I saw it on my kids this weekend. Like, very. No, 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 no. I know that they're popular. Both my kids have TikTok. What I really wanted to know is why you two were singing sea shanties in the middle of the fucking office. Sea shanties are work songs. Sailors used to sing them on ships all the time when doing their menial labor. First one, two things. What? The work we do here is not at all comparable to menial labor. We have over a billion dollars in assets under management. Not just anyone could do this. I graduated from NYU with a 2.6 GPA and initially got this job because my dad so. here. Okay, shut up, you two. You two know you're not supposed to be talking about the rampant nepotism in this office.
Hello, Brian. I hope your father is enjoying his retirement. You, she's, you're, you're, she's, she's, you're her, she's, 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 she's your aunt? Why are we so excited to see her? But, well, we only usually see each other on holidays. And secondly, well, I think we are mostly here to make a ton of money. For sure. I expect my employees to show at least some enthusiasm for the work that they are doing. Miss Calico, I swear, I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean a word of what I just said. Just that, you know, my whole situation is... No, Cameron, I'm sorry. You've been a good employee here, but with all the money we've lost into this Reddit situation, coupled with your bad attitude, I have no choice but to let you go. Exactly. Oh, you two aren't out of the woods yet either. Singing in my office? This isn't pitch perfect, folks, nor is it either of its sequels. I expected more out of you all. There will be no bonuses. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, I might still get my bonus in the form of a birthday present, but I feel for you too. I can honestly only think of one thing that would make me feel better right now. It's not like the situation could get any worse. Go right on ahead. Feels about 
Nah, man, it's whatever. Darius is just feeling the beat, you know? He doesn't actually need it. All right, Randall, hit me with something. I gotta get back to this clown. You may have my girl, but I already know that behind my back, she's been sleeping with my bro. So I said to her, why don't you film it next time? Cause I want to see his little dick something something rhyme. Truth is, I've been sad. I got problems with my dad. I've been insecure about all the girls that I've had. I'm going through the motions of being a good lover, but I think that I would rather be, maybe be underneath her older brother. Sir, you look kind of cute for an absolute nerd! Let me take that beat back if you don't mind. Thank you for the compliment, that was very kind. Let's get out of here and leave Jake in the dust. I never give my heart out, but it's you whom I trust. I never knew that you'd be such a romantic. Uh, some zone and your anxiety's got you quite frantic. Try to go to therapy to speak your mind. If you need someone there, I'll hold your hand the entire time. That would be very cool. That would be very great. great. I think that not doing that, that would be a mistake. mistake. Well, yeah, man, of course. How about Applebee's and E? I, I love, love you so much, bro. Let's make it a day. Woo! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Eater, eater, skeet, skeeter. <laughs> so... What? You know? Do you guys feel that no, way? No, we were just feeling the beat. Not this shit again. You're just not getting it, Jake. Oh my god. I'm going home. You guys have some issues to work out. Alright, whatever, man. I'll see you later. You guys feeling Wawa? Oh, hell yeah. Cool. I'll try. All right, this has been Freestyle Therapy. This was written by Matt Homiak and directed by Lauch Corby. And it stars Louis Serlinga, Jack Bailey, Roddy Tuginska, and J.D. Kayser. Hi, Joanne. Welcome to St. Theodore Franklin University, or STFU for short. Don't worry, the nice ship goes by in a flash. All we have to do is provide escorts to the students. Awesome, thanks. Oh, uh, I didn't catch your name, by the way. Oh, of course, my name is Angle. Angel? Angel. Angel. Angle. Oh, um, is that a thing? No, just doing that trick. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever been there. <clears throat> uh, hey, I'm pretty new to the area. Uh, is it always this warm in the winter? Hello? Let's 
Kids are really crazy these days, huh? Well, you know how kids are. They're just having fun. We've I mean, been doing this as long as me. They don't get talked about anything anymore. You can't be any older than 25. I'm be zero, so you'll be close. What? What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's just a Friday regular. What? Was that a student? Oh my god, is he okay? Yeah, I am never okay. In fact, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't stop. Hey, Draco. Ooh, I like that name. Really? Thank you. My deadbeat parents gave it to me for my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dog. Birthday's not for another six months. Oh, that means you're a Scorpy bro. Yeah, if you believe in that star crap, which I do. Oh, so where are you headed? Hell, probably. Ooh. All right, well, that's not on my approved list of drop locations, so try again. Well, I wasn't planning on being here five minutes ago, so I guess my dorm. Well, since it's your birthday, why don't you come to the Alpha Alpha Apple Pie annual baby birthday beer run bananas with us? I'd douse myself in gasoline and then light myself on fire. So where are you? Where are we taking you then? Take me to the mighty house. Oh, Alpha Alpha Apple Pie! Didn't you just say you'd rather be dead? Well, see, that'd be the idea. But this is a close second. Yo! He's an Alpha Alpha Apple Pie Ram! I think he's more Alpha Wolf. At all levels except physical, I am Wolf. Yo! That's my Wolf Ram! And we're so thankful for all of the work that you've put in to make sure that we can do something, anything. I know I almost cried when we were able to be back in the perch again. So I'm so excited for all the work that we're going to be able to do next semester. So follow our Instagram and keep an eye out for announcements about the fall. <laughs> 